Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a science fiction film, Click. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Click is a science fiction film that teaches us the importance of work-life balance and to always prioritize family. Michael, the main character, learns this the hard way. Michael Newman is an architect who is reliably harassed by his oppressive boss and frequently picks work over his better half Donna and his two children, Ben and Samantha. At some point, Michael visits the retail location of Bed Bath & Beyond to purchase a universal controller. After waking, he gets a free remote from Morty, who cautions him that Michael can never return it. Michael discovers that he can utilize the remote to control reality, similar to a TV. He operates it for his potential benefit at work, to cause carefree living and quickly skips past diseases. This is a feel-good that is fun to watch, if you might be feeling down or just want to have a good laugh. Although this might be a comedy, it has a great moral lesson. One day Michael wakes up to his kids stealing his Twinkies. His children ask him to watch the television. Michael gets up and picks up a remote. He accidentally turns on the ceiling fan. He grabs another remote and turns on the remote control car. He grabs another remote and he opens up their garage. His daughter, Samantha, gets a remote and turns on the television. His son, Ben, asks him to get a universal remote like their neighbor. Samantha asks her daddy if he got time to build their treehouse, and Michael replies that he is busy with his work. Ben sees their dog Sundance wrestling his duck. Michael says that they are not wrestling, and that they are too young to see that. Donna reminds her husband to see him tonight at the swim meet. It seems that Michael forgets about it, but he says he will be there. His wife says goodbye, and he goes to his car. Kevin, their neighbor, sees him, asks about Michael's stereo, and boasts sounds of his father's Bose stereo. Michael teases him that his father's stereo blows, and this annoys Kevin. Michael drives while annoying the kid. Michael is stuck in traffic on his way to work. He arrives at his office and his co-workers greet him. He walks up to his secretary and asks about his meeting. His secretary says that the meeting is happening right now and she asks his permission to go to the bathroom. He says that she does not need his permission to go to the bathroom, and the secretary comically scrams to the toilet. He proceeds to the meeting and says that some idiot with a red Lamborghini steals his spot. Their client, Prince Habibu, introduces himself, and he says that he drives a red Lamborghini. He rephrases his statement with a blue Ferrari. Prince Habibu asks who Michael is. Michael's boss replies that he is only an associate, but he is one of the brightest architects. Michael continues to present his work, and the prince tells him to make the bar longer, and asks for a drain for the wet t-shirt contest. Michael's boss removes the atrium and pokes a hole in the middle of the presentation. The Arabians appreciate this, but Michael does not. He seems to take offense that they want him to make an Arabian hoochie house. The boss apologizes to the prince. He tells Michael about the project, one of their clients plans to make a luxury hotel, and he asks Michael to come up with a design proposal. He says that he has plans for the weekend with his family. The boss tells him that he will give the project to one of his coworkers, and his boss asks to see him after office hours. Michael arrives late at his son's swim meet. He goes to the pool and walks up to a different kid. The kid sees him and says that he is not his father. Michael jokes that he might be. The kid is about to cry and his family angrily stares at Michael. Michael walks up to his kid and cheers for him. Ben calls his bluff and Samantha asks him about what kind of stroke Ben is doing. Michael tells her to shut up and Samantha laughs at his father. Bill, the swimming coach, goes to Ben and gives him encouraging words. Michael gets a call from his boss and he answers it, which annoys his wife. Michael's family gets together for the 4th of July holiday. Ben gulps up his ice cream, and his grandmother tells him to slow down. Donna notices that Ben is doing actions that he sees from his father, and she is not happy about it. Trudy says that everything Michael is doing is very unhealthy, and he might get sick. Michael continues to talk to his boss on the phone. Samantha seems to be uncomfortable with the conversation on the table about Michael's life. She goes to her father and asks him about how long he is going to live. Michael comforts his daughter and promises that he will live up to 200 years. Michael's father shows his grandkids his famous quarter trick and amazes Ben so much that he curses. Trudy scolds Ben for cursing. Michael gets furious at the teenagers blowing up firecrackers, and he chases them. Donna tucks his children to bed. She notices Michael is sneezing and she worries that he might be too sick for their camping trip. Michael tells her that they will postpone the camping trip because he will be busy with his work. Michael gets a remote and accidentally turns on a helicopter toy that hits his face. Judging by the fries and the looks of his eyes, he got high. Michael goes to Bed Bath & Beyond and asks the staff for a universal remote control. The crew answers him sarcastically because they only sell home items for sleeping and baths. 
Michael goes into a room beyond. Michael asks Morty for a universal remote control. Morty introduces himself and says that he got what he is looking for. They go to a storage room that looks huge and Michael jokes that it seems more prominent from the outside. They turn to one aisle and Morty opens a box that says really new stuff. Morty gets a stepladder and reaches for the remote. Michael asks about the remote instructions. Morty answers that he will point and click, and the remote will program itself. Michael asks for the price for the remote and Morty says that he will give it for free, and it is non-returnable. Michael goes home with the remote. He seems to have a cold. He opens his cupboard, drinks cough syrup from the bottle, and gets a snack. He proceeds to watch the television. His wife walks up to him and asks about his work. When he pauses the television, he accidentally pauses his wife too, but he does not notice this and continues to answer his wife. He hits play, and the wife starts moving. While Michael is working, his dog barks at him. He gets annoyed and uses the remote to make the dog quiet. Michael realizes that he can control the dog's volume using the remote. Michael brings the dog outside and presses fast forward. The dog poops more quickly and humps the duck. The morning after, Donna is with her friend Janine. Janine greets Michael with an insult, and Michael throws back an insult. Janine gets offended and begins ranting about her life. Michael uses his remote to lighten up the situation. Michael goes to Morty and says that he must be on a reality TV show. Morty tells Michael to hit the menu. Michael browses through his life menu and Morty walks him through. Morty asks him to think of a time and a place, and he thinks of the time they had at Lake Winipsaki. Michael enjoys the moment. Morty tells Michael to hit play, then reminiscing, and Morty gives him a calling card if he has some questions. Michael goes to the office and suggests to his boss to see Janine. He goes home and sees Ben playing catch with Kevin. Michael uses his remote to play a trick with the kids. He goes to his house, and his wife is on the phone inviting his parents for dinner. Michael gets irritated with the kids all over the place. He presses skip on the remote and misses the whole night. Michael tries to work in the basement, and his wife asks him to watch over the kids. He refuses and gets in a fight with his wife. Michael skips through the fight with his wife. After the fight, Michael goes to his wife and tries to play a fast hormone game with her, and she asks for a massage. Michael skips through the sex and leaves his wife unsatisfied. Donna reminds him about their plan for tomorrow. Michael gets confused with the plan that his wife is talking about and calls Morty. Morty shows up at his front door and tells Michael about when his body goes to an autopilot every time he skips. Morty feels that he is getting sick and fast forwards until he is better. Michael wakes up feeling better and realizes that he skips through the whole weekend. His wife tells him that they are out of hot water and Michael presses skip again. He continues to play with the remote in his work. Michael and his boss go to a meeting with their Japanese clients. Michael uses his remote to his advantage and closes the deal with their client. He goes home excitedly and gives his children presents. He also gets his wife an expensive handbag. Donna tells him that she knew today was a lucky day because she heard their song on the radio earlier in the morning. Michael uses his remote to remember their song. Michael goes to his work and his boss tells him that he is not promoting Michael. He frustratingly goes to Morty and tells him that he plans to skip his promotion. Morty gives him a warning that what he's doing is dangerous and reminds him of the leprechaun advertisement. The leprechaun is chasing the end of the rainbow, but instead of a pot of gold, he sees cornflakes. Michael goes home and his wife can tell that he did not get the promotion. He listens as his wife tells his kids they will be returning their bikes, breaking Michael's heart. Michael impulsively gets the remote and fast forwards to his promotion. Michael realizes that he skips to an entire year. Michael goes to a marriage counselor. When they are about to argue, the remote auto skips through the fight. Michael gets teleported to his house and sees his kids get bigger. Michael sees a new dog and finds out that Sundance has died, he cries and his wife comforts him. They get horny and have a fast hormone game, but the remote skips through it. Michael is now really frustrated and calls Morty. Morty shows up in his house and Michael tells him that the remote is malfunctioning. Morty says that he cannot do anything about this feature and it is his fault. Michael tries to get rid of the remote, but it keeps on popping up in Michael. Morty reminds him that it is non-returnable. Michael wakes up and tries to avoid all of the things that would make him skip. He goes to his work in a bathrobe and rides a bike. He goes to his boss and his boss tells him that he might one day be the CEO of their company. Michael says that he wants to become a CEO, and the remote automatically skips again in 10 years. This time Michael is now living in a futuristic house and now a CEO of their company. He walks up to his bed and sees himself fat. Michael goes to his home and sees Ben also overweight, and Samantha now has a boyfriend. He goes to his wife and hugs her. 
He realizes Donna marries Ben's swimming coach. Michael gets into a fight with Donna, and the remote beeps. Michael pauses and screams to Morty. Morty tells Michael that it is all his fault that this misery happens to him, and he cannot rewrite his decisions. Their new dog tackles Michael. He hits his head, and the remote skips. Michael wakes up from a coma, and Donna tells him all of the events when he skips six years. Michael loses weight because of liposuction. Michael sees Ben, and Ben invites him to his office. Ben tells him that his father dies while he is skipping. Ben visits his father's grave, revisits the last time he saw his father, and replays the moment repeatedly. Morty introduces himself as the angel of death, and Michael uses the remote and tells it to take him to his next happy moment. He fast-forwards to Ben's wedding. He gets up on the stage to have a toast and sees everyone grow older. Michael goes to Donna, their theme song plays, and he dances with his ex-wife. Michael hears Samantha call Bill his dad. He gets jealous and has a heart attack. Michael wakes up again in a hospital bed. He gets up and follows his kids outside, and he dies in the rain. Michael wakes up in the store and sees that he is young again. Michael immediately visits his parents and goes home with a brand new appreciation of life. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your fun for today.